So here at the mall now, you can see that there are a few changes. Um, I don't have any interface problems anymore. It all kind of shows up, which is good. <laughs> I think because there is no... Oh, it works the same. Um, I love the tag that says new <laughs> on the clothing. I'm very exciting. Uh, it's very exciting. I am a little mad that I just went shopping and then they put in all this cool new stuff, but... I'm still excited. Are you kidding? It's so cool. So you can sort by date, which is something we've been asking for since the beginning. So that's awesome. Um, and then just the more clothes that come in, the more awesome quality they are, I think. The textures just look amazing. Oh, I'm loving this beanie. It looks super cute. Oh, and I wish I were high <laughs> enough level for this. That looks very cool. So fun. And a matching hat. And some new style jeans. So there's a few things this week, but um, we'll check on equipment as well. I love it. I'm so excited that there's this sort by new feature. That is going to make life so much easier. This must have been added last week. That's why they don't have the new logo, but they're still in the the new area very cool okay so in here in the um, equipment store with dragon rain we can see actually these are a lot of the ones I looked at last time with the wreck saddles and stuff um, oh and Pat you can get clothes that match that now that's so cool turn around little buddy he needs a, a, a saddle to match. <laughs> it's green and purple gear. That one looks like it matches, but not quite. <laughs> oh, I think Raptor's here. Oh, he's very loud. Yo, Raptor. <laughs> okay, so I'm here at Sunfield Farm because there's also supposed to be a new kitten shop to buy new kittens. However, you need to have very high reputation with the Sunfield family. You need 1500 to have the shop unlocked and I'm at 205. So no new kittens for me. Hopefully sometime soon. All right, well, good news is that our vest should be done from Donald, so we could pick that up, yay! And the mall looked great. I'm so excited about being able to sort by new. Um, and I stuck the star, pa star paddle saddle on Dragon Rain for now. It looks all right. Well, I'm sure we could do better, but. Hey. It's ready now, isn't it nice? I'm sure it is. Wait, did we get it? Oh, maybe not yet. Excuse me. Here you are, try it on. I really hope you'll like it. Thanks for all your help. <gasps> it has rainbows. No wonder it took so long to make so many dyes. Wow. That's a pretty cool vest. We're gonna wear it. <laughs> We're totally gonna wear it. Which hat should we wear with it? We could just go all out and not match anything. Felix has a quest for us now. We haven't talked to him in a little while. Do you see what I see? There, the fountain. They're not here yet. I don't understand. Something has to be wrong. Completely wrong. What, you can't see anything? It's so obvious to everyone. The disasters are piling up. Can't you help me? I don't know what you're referring to, sir. 
You haven't lived here very long, I understand now. While the ducks are missing. There are no ducks in the fountain. It's great that you want to help me. It is for the entire village's sake, though. We must find out what happened to the ducks that swim in the fountain every summer. Oh. Every spring around this time, the fountain ducks come to stay all summer and swim in the cool fountain. They haven't returned from their winter migration, so I have a feeling that something has happened to them. Will, up at the mill on the hill outside the village, is an avid bird watcher. He may have seen something. Can you ride up and ask him? Hi there, what's that? The ducks haven't returned from their winter migration? That's not good. All villagers like to look at the ducks during summer as they bathe and swim in the fountain. It would be a shame if they disappeared. I haven't seen the ducks yet this year, but what I've seen in previous years is that they land one last time on Everwind Fields and rest before they head into the village and receive the people's cheers. <laughs> Maybe you could scout the field and see if you find any clue of their whereabouts. Return to me later. Later? Okay. I did not know missing ducks could cause such a ruckus. But okay. Oh. Shinies! Oh, okay. No, no ducks. I don't think there was any ducks. Do we go back to... Will? Okay. We do. No sign of any ducks, sir. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, this is a duck feather. That's correct. Oh, we found a duck feather. I, I wasn't aware. <laughs> but it's oily. This is not good at all. The ducks must have gotten into trouble. Uh-oh. Take this feather and tell Felix about this ominous discovery. He's at the fountain. Hey, Felix. This is terrible. What happened to our poor ducks? Oil, you say? What? Is Mr. Kemble drilling for oil in the Everwind Fields? Disaster. So you think the oily feather means that di the disappearance of the ducks may have something to do with that slick Mr. Kemble's oil field? Hmm. The vet has analyzed the oil before. Okay, bring the feather to the vet so she can see if it is Mr. Kemble's oil. I forgot she did that. Good thing my character remembered. Here she is. Hello, Cadence. Of course I can analyze the oil on the feather. That's awful, Cadence. What if the ducks are stuck in the oil at Mr. Kemble's oil fields? If so, we have no time to lose. You must immediately head for the western Everwind fields and look for the ducks. I'll stay here and analyze samples for now. Come back here if you find some poor ducks in distress. Oh no. In the oil field. Oh, here. Oh no. Oh, it's a duck in distress. Oh no. Oh no. Let's keep looking. We need five. We can do five. Oops. Aha. Another one. And that guy just walked right on by it. Disgraceful. Where is this duck? Oh! Over here. Found it. <laughs> I feel like I was looking forever for this one last duck. Here it is. Done. Now let's go get them cleaned up. And saved. Oh my gosh, vet lady, please! Save our ducks! Oh no, poor little ducks. They're covered in oil. You're a hero for saving them, Cadence. Thank you. A special soap is required to clean the ducks properly. Their feathers can be destroyed otherwise. I've run out of the soap and it takes too long to order it. Can you ride to Firgrove and ask to buy soap from Felicity? She's the one who makes them. Felicity is at Firgrove's stables. She runs the place. Don't worry, we know her. And we can get there and get that soap. Those poor little ducks. We need some soap. Cadence, it's good to see you here in our little village. Oh, some ducks have been covered in oil, you say? That's bad. Of course you can buy the special soap for me. I'm the expert on making special soaps for sensitive animals. Here you go. Here's the special soap for sensitive animals. It'll be perfect for the ducks. I guarantee they'll... 
what it's trying to say here? I guarantee they'll guaranteed be... <laughs> I guarantee they'll be white and clean again. Hurry back to the vet so she can clean the poor ducks. You alright there, Felicity? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Here's your soap. Thank you, Cadence. That was really fast. Now I could start the difficult job of cleaning the ducks of all this horrible oil. Okay, so another day, but I'm here to continue my quest with the vet. How you doing, vet? <laughs> I'm not going analysis. I'm basically ready. It was very difficult to get good sample material from the feather. There wasn't a large amount of oil on it, but I managed to get a sample that can be compared with previous samples from Mr. Kemble's oil field. Take these samples and ride up to Carney at the vineyard and ask if you could borrow the comparison machine again. Okay. Oh, no, no. The cute little ducks are clean and happy again. It was more difficult than I thought to clean the fragile feathers, but it went well. Take the ducks to Felix so he'll be happy again. Oh, let's go make Felix happy. Felix, are you happy? Okay. Be happy. Wow, they're so nice and shiny and completely clean. Poor ducks covered by oil like that. I get so angry when I think of that irresponsible Mr. Kemble. I almost want to scream. Mm. How wonderful that the mystery of the disappearing ducks was solved. Now we'll just launch them into the fountain. Launch them. You'll have the honor to do it since you're the hero, Cadence. Carefully put the ducks in the fountain, one by one. He said launch, but then carefully. <laughs> carefully launch them. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, there they are. Here they come. <laughs> Yay! I hope they're there forever now. <laughs> hmm. The ducks are so cute. The whole village will thank you for this. What an effort you've made. The big attraction of the summer is saved. Thank you, Cadence. Ooh, and we got some pants. I love pants. Ooh, those are fun. <laughs> Checkered pants. They go with our mismatched outfit. <laughs> Hello, Cadence. How are you today? So, you want to borrow my comparison machine again? It should work. Oddly enough, I don't use it as much as I thought I would when I bought it at J-Bay. So it's just as well that it will do some good. Just take your samples and use the machine. It's on the table here next to us. Oh yeah, that funny, funny looking one. Oh, we were, I thought we were taking the machine. We're just using it. <laughs> Working. Done. Hmm. Did it work? Yes, look, the result is clear. It's the same oil in both samples you tested. Ride back to Felix in Silverglade Village and tell him that the samples are identical. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's probably good, though, because now we have something to use against GED. Unfortunate for the docs as it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Felix. Really? Then we know that Mr. Kemble's oil has polluted the duck feather. At least we have the proof. See, that's what I was thinking. At least mm. now we have something against him. The ducks are rescued, but Mr. Kemble makes me so angry. I'm so, it's so irresponsible to pollute the beautiful Everwind fields with oil. It destroys the environment and more b b birds could be harmed. We have to stop him once and for all. Can you talk to the magistrate here in the village and help me establish a case against Mr. Kemble for damaging the nature, cruelty to animals, and breaking the environmental laws, and bring that walking disaster to justice. Why, yes we can! <laughs> Who's the magistrate? Who's that? Who? Who's the magistrate? Oh, the councilman. <laughs> okay. Sure. Hmm. Hello, little one. Oh, file a report about damage and environmental crime. We can do that, but it'll take some time. We're talking a week or more. A lot of paperwork, you know. It takes a long time to flip papers and write the right things so everything is legal. Mm. We're building a case against Mr. Kemble. No one wants him and his ruthless corporation here in Jorvik. We're also waiting for our dear Commissioner Klaus to come back to the village after winter break. Both cops and robbers usually stay calm during the cold winter months here in Silverglade. Oh. Mm -hmm. How long does it take? As I said before, it'll take weeks before the case against Mr. Kemble is ready, but that's okay. We don't want any loopholes. We want everything just right. 
but then we can go full force and get him out of here, I hope. Thank you for your report. Good luck now, and thanks for saving the ducks. You are a hero, Cadence. We could use more of your kind here in the village in times like these. Thank you, sir. It was an honor serving you. I am here at the Silverglade Equestrian Center because Linda has made her way over here. She was at the castle. And Linda always has exciting things for us to do. I'm a mom. Let's check in. Hi, Cadence. It's been a while. I've got so much catching up. Kath the sing up to do after being away for so long. What's that? If I've heard anything from Alex? Yes, actually, she's on her way back, and I think she'll be here tomorrow. The rumors say the druids are organizing a council meeting. Did you hear about that? No, I did not. Oh. You haven't? Strange. I'm sure they want you to participate in the council. You've helped both us and the druids a lot, and I know that the druids, keepers of Aideen, are watching out for you. Well, thank you. I feel special. <laughs> move, move. We better talk with Alex when she arrives tomorrow, and then we'll know more whether there will be a council meeting or not. But guess what? I hear that a circus is coming to Moreland. Maybe you could check that out in the meantime? It was May in Moreland who told me this. Ask her about the details and where the circus is. Take a look and check if anything, hmm, mysterious is going on there. I kind of have a feeling about it. So agreed? Check with May where the circus is, and then we'll meet back here tomorrow when Alex is back. Great. All right, my fine feathered friends, thank you for joining me on this episode of Let's Play Star Stable. It was a little uh, here and there. I had to film it on a few different occasions due to time restraints. Uh, but we are about to embark on the circus quest, which I am going to continue today, and you will be able to see in the next video. I want to I wanna have it mostly in one video, you know, so I'm saving it for next time. But hopefully you had lots of fun. I might change my outfit before I go embark on the circus quest. Um, it's a little mismatched. And maybe we'll switch horses and get some stuff changed. And I will see you again next time. Bye!